Patriots Daily is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. This is a coaching name that's actually been confirmed to have been with the Patriots, Tim Lukabu. He interviewed for their defensive coordinator position, which is actually pretty interesting because we also heard that Steve and Brian Belichick were offered to stay into the future with New England rather than it just being assumed as we thought that they would probably go with their dad. Now, it's interesting because Steve has worked closely with Mayo all the way going back to his playing days. When Steve was an assistant, Mayo had or had uh, season-ending injuries or significant injuries in like, 2013, 2014, and, 20, and 2015. So he yep. worked and watched a lot of film with Steve. Now, fast forward, Gerard Mayo becomes de facto defensive coordinator and linebackers coach. Steve, while Mayo was a coach, he was with the safeties. I think that was his last year with safeties. Then he transitioned to be co-linebackers coach with Mayo, and he became the play caller while Mayo was the coordinator. So there's a lot of deep connection there. If you would assume they're so close, it could we could end up seeing that Steve becomes the coordinator with Mayo now being the head coach. And obviously, Brian maybe stays with the safeties. But this situation with Tem, he interviewed and satisfies the Rooney rule. So he gives them their one external minority outside candidate. It could be a situation like we saw with Adrian Clem, where he came in last season for a head coaching opportunity. But really, it was to see if he wanted to be the offensive line coach. So what are your thoughts on Tim, uh, his background? I can go into that more, but whatever you mm-hmm. know that you thought was interesting. And also, do you think he really is interviewing for the coordinator job? Or do you think it's a Clem situation where, yeah, we probably already have our coordinator, but we'd like to bring you in as insurance or to potentially take over a role that's vacant right now? Yeah, I look at it. Um, I look at it similar to the, the offensive coordinator situation where, okay, mm-hmm. we have an internal candidate right now in Steve Belichick who – as reported, like you said by Breer, that uh, you know Steve, Steve will have an opportunity to come back. I kind of think that might mean that he'll have an opportunity to come back and interview as the defensive coordinator. And mm-hmm. so um, it sort of feels like an open an open thing, just like the OC position is. And so, like you said, Lukabu, um, Lukabu, I don't know how to say it, but Tem Tem Lukabu is is uh he he was the defensive coordinator at BC for for a couple years under Jeff Halfley. So local ties there. I know that um. I know the Patriots staff has always sort of been close with BC. They they go to their practices a lot and kind of help and work and learn from them. So uh, I'm sure there's a connection there. Uh, and then obviously he goes to to be the outside linebackers coach for the Panthers. Um, I'm sure he's worked closely, even though he's a he's an he's an outside linebacker slash defensive end. But Brian Burns um, mm-hmm. is a dominant yep. you know D end OLB for them. Um, he also has a good track record. He worked at Mississippi State. Uh, that's where Montez Sweat came out of and has been, you know, a top, a top pick and obviously just got a, a lucrative trade and then contract with the, with the bears. So, yep. um, he has a good track record. He's worked with solid people. Uh, I do think they'll give him, you know, a genuine opportunity to, to interview and be the DC. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I wonder at the end of the day how it actually works. And like you said, the Clem situation kind of makes perfect sense where maybe Steve does get the, the defensive coordinator role, but, um, Luca Bu- Luca Bu comes in and works with him sort of like Mayo did where mm-hmm. they work together in tandem. He's only a linebackers coach, but he gets an upgrade in pay or he gets an upgrade as a play caller. So yeah. that will entice him to leave Carolina. So, um, that's kind of interesting, you know, that, uh, a, an interesting way to look at it too. Um, I don't know if you've looked at this already yet, but what I saw it in the chat and I also saw it on Twitter, um, another Patriots interview request this time for a special teams coordinator role. Mm. Uh, they're interviewing special teams coach Marquise Williams from the Falcons. Okay, um, I did not actually see that. Was uh, that while we were? Yeah, live? I didn't know if you oh. were working. Yeah, yeah, that that happened about you know <laughs> five to ten minutes ago. Yeah. So um, they're they're opening up everything here. They're really getting their uh, getting the gears turning on the the coordinator roles, which is good. This is another minority candidate, um, so that would also in theory suffice their Rooney rule if that's what they're what they're looking to do. Not 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 looking to do here, but that's sort of. Um, ties into that where they're they're expanding the search, they're doing the th- full thorough search. I'm um, going there. He has been their special teams coordinator, mm-hmm. so it would be a lateral move. Um, so the, interesting thought, but they mm-hmm. they've at least requested that, and that needs to be approved by the Falcons because it is lateral. Right. So. That is interesting, especially considering the Patriots, even when they got Joe Judge back for their special teams unit, didn't do them a whole lot of good. And then uh, real quick, just to wrap up on Luca Boo, some other stops that he made yeah. that were pretty notable. He has some Patriots connections. Actually, he worked for Greg Schiano at Rutgers and for a yep. couple years at Tampa Bay with the Buccaneers. And the interesting thing with uh, Schiano is that Schiano was actually supposed to be the defensive coordinator uh, Derod Mayo's first year on the staff back in 2019. He left so he could go work at Ohio State. 
which actually led to Mayo becoming the team's de facto defensive coordinator. And then he and Steve started working together. So that was pretty interesting. He's got, obviously, the Rutgers connections we already know about. So the Shianu connection, he also worked um, with the 49ers uh, for, I think it was Robert Sala's first year as their defensive coordinator. Um, uh, Luke Abu was a defense quality control coach. He was also linebackers coach with the Bengals under Lou Anarumo, who obviously is a very popular defensive name in the NFL right now. He's done a great job over the past few years getting them to not only be a playoff team, but really one of the league's better defenses. The NFL season is wrapping up, and there's still time to get in on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get 150 in bonus bets, guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL.